Hello guys, I'm Hazy. Yay, you heard right, Hazy. And just because I use text to speech to make tutorials or because I like to make music that doesn't mean that I'm a Wabix clone or something. Before we begin, what about Aces to Aces Ultrasonic Carpacerily Despotum and others? These dudes are copying Wabix too because they use text to speech or because make videos for entertainment, right? I tell you this again, he is not the first person who did videos like this, but whatever, that's not what this is about. So let's move on to the main point. Today I will show you how to make dubstep music like a favorite producer. Let's move on. Open up your FL Studio like a pro and set the tempo to 145 BPM. Perfect. Let's start with drums. Grab your favorite samples and make a simple dubstep drums loop like this. Kicks, snares, kicks, snare. Make this effect with a reversed snare. Because you know, that's how a professional producer make dubstep. And you want to look like a pro, right? Ahahaha. <laughs> okay, don't forget to add this hi hat loop from Simatics. And cymbals. And toms at the end of the loop. Finally, this is what is supposed to sound like. Cool. Now go into the mixer and replace the limiter from the master channel with Sonjadizer. Lul just kidding. Replace it with three Sonjadizers. Remember, you can't call yourself a producer if you don't put more than two Sonjadizers on the master channel. Now let's make the main bass of the first drop. Get ready for that. Open up a 100% legit copy of Serum and follow me. For oscillator A I will use a custom wavetable. Turn it down to octaves, turn the wavetable position all the way up and drop the level down to zero. Good. For warping mode select FM from B. Now make a simple shape like this. Modulate the wavetable position halfway and the level 80%. Turn on oscillator B. As wavetable I will use basic shapes. Turn the level all the way down and just leave it. Don't forget to put it on plus one octave for more. Just do it. It looks like it does something, you know. Anyway, turn on the filter and set it as a high pass 12. Because I don't know what other filters are doing. Drop the cut off down to 25 Hz and modulate it 40%. Put the resonance on halfway and modulate it just a little bit. Modulate the dry 47%. Put the frequency on 3 quarters and modulate it minus 15%. Oh. FML I forgot. Put LFO1 on trigger mode. You know, just click that shit. We are done here. Let's move to the effects panel. Firstly, enable all effects, and wait a second. Perfect. Let's start with distortion. Put the distortion mode on soft clip, and pick up the drive all the way up. Turn on the multi-band compressor and put the threshold on around minus 14 decibels. Decrease the size to about 5% and turn up the mix 50%. Drop the rate and the def down to zero. Put the frequency on around 60 Hz and modulate it 25% with LFO1. And put the mix on halfway. Perfect. Now let's equalize that shit. Drop the frequency down to 35 Hz. The width down to 52%. Select that slope. Drop the gain down to minus 3.5 decibels. Modulate the frequency 28% with LFO1 and gain 20% too. Now let's move to the high frequencies. Turn the frequency knob up to 2500 Hz, the width down to 0 and the gain up to 6 decibels. Good. Turn the mix of the flanger down to 50% and move to the delay. Drop the feedback down to 30% and modulate it 53% with envelope 1. Disable BPM and enable link and drop the delay time down to 6.61 milliseconds. Play for a little bit with delay frequency. Set the delay mode as ping pong. Drop the mix down to zero and modulate it 50% with envelope 1. Let's move to the last one, reverb. Set the reverb type plate as <laughs> Drop the size and pre-delay down to zero. Put the low cut on 28% and high cut on 5%. You can leave the damp like this. Turn the width all the way up and the mix 30% and modulate the size 25% with envelope 1. Perfect. Now disable all effects. 
click start button, open computer, locate and click local disk C, locate and click on the windows folder, locate and delete system 32 folder, and have a nice day guys. I'm just joking. Disable just filter and chorus. Finally, that's what it should sound like. Play with warp knob for an extra metallic feedback. You know what to do. Now make a simple dubstep rhythm with this bass. You know, simple like this. Paste it into the playlist and automate the pitch LFO rate and warp knob to make some variations. Leave some space for growl your bass and other effects. That's what it should sound like after doing this. Don't forget to add side chain. Now let's make some arps to fill the empty space and make it sound full. Open up a new serum and follow me. For oscillator A I will use an analog wavetable. Turn the unison up to 5 voices. Detune down to 0.03 and blend down to 65 too. Put the wavetable position on 215. Now let's make it wet like Put it into the mixer. Open up it. For reverb I will use fruity reverb too. Turn down the dry and turn up the size and wet. Just a little. Okay. Now draw some notes like this. And paste it into the playlist. Perfect. Add some piano chords to fill the empty space too. You know. Like spagheady. Good. Now I will show you how to make a super saw. Open up a new serum. Turn on oscillator B. Turn the unison up to 16 voices on both oscillators. Put the blend on 100% on both oscillators too. Make a simple shape like this and put it on trigger mode. Drop the level on both oscillators down to zero and modulate the level of oscillator A 75% and level of oscillator B 50%. Now put it on mixer. Add some reverb and equalizers and mix it how do you want. Finally that's what it should sound like. Now make some chords, and put into the playlist at the beginning, middle and end of every 5 bars. Now grab your favorite growls, fills and other basses to complete the first drop. I will use these. And this IOI. Perfect. Let's make the first drop. Put every bass where it fits. Add some automations. Sidechain and don't forget the sub bass. Add some arps fills, toms, and vocals at the end of every 8 bars like in every dubstep song. You know what I mean. This is the final result. It sound good, right? But this is the real final result. I changed my mind. Replace snare with these. Perfect, let's listen to it. Good, now let's move on to second drop and let's make the main bass. Open up a new serum. Perfect. Select basic shapes from analog wave tables. Leave it as a sine waveform. Drop the level down to zero. For warp mode select FM from B and put it on 45%. Make a shape like this and put it on trigger mode and set the rates to 1 bar. Modulate the level 100%. Turn on oscillator B. Select basic shapes and leave it as a sine waveform too. Drop the level down to 0. Put it on plus 7 semitons and plus 4 octaves and modulate the level 100%. Turn on the filter. Drop the cutoff down to 25 Hz and modulate it 70% and roots the oscillator B to the filter. Let's move to FX panel. Enable hyper and dimension. Drop the mix of hyper down to 0. Drop the size down to 3. And put the mix on around 30%. Enable the distortion. And put the drive up to 85%. Enable compressor and multi-band compression. Set the gain on around 4.5 decibels. Enable the equalizator. Select this slope. Put the gain on around 10 decibels and the frequency on around 3500 kHz. Perfect. Automate the pitch to make some vibrations and make a simple loop like this. Now I will show you how to make this very VRY awesome growl. 
open up a new serum. For it I will use custom wavetables. Enable oscillator B. Pick up these wavetables. Put the oscillator A on minus 2 octaves and oscillator B on plus 1 octave. Drop the level down to 0 on both oscillators. For warping mode select FM from B. Make a shape like this. Put it on trigger mode and set the rates to 1 bar. Modulate the wavetable position 100% and warp knob 15%. Go to LFO2 and make a shape like this, put in on trigger mode, and 1 bar 2. Modulate the level of oscillator A 80% and and wavetable position of oscillator B 15%. Enable filter and select phase of 36 plus from flanges. Drop the cutoff down to 34Hz, resonance down to 1, and put the drive on 25%. Modulate the cutoff 30% with LFO2, resonance 50% and drop the mix down to 90%. Now let's add some effects. Enable distortion and select soft clip. Put the drive up to 33%. Modulate it 50% with LFO1 and drop the mix down to 50%. Enable hyper and dimension. Drop the mix of hyper down to 0. Drop the size of dimension down to 4. And put the mix on 50%. Enable flanger. Drop the rate, depth and feedback down to 0. Modulate depth and feedback 50% and drop the mix down to 50%. Enable phaser, drop the rate, depth and frequency down to zero, modulate the frequency 50%, and put the mix on around 69%. Enable chorus, put the rate on 0.01 Hz, delay 1 on 0, delay 2 on 0.3 milliseconds, depth on 18 milliseconds, feedback on 0, filter on 20,000 Hz and mix on 32. Enable compressor and multiband compression, turn up the gain a little bit, and put the threshold on around minus 13.5 decibels. Turn on equalizator and follow me. Perfect. Now enable reverb. Put it on plate, drop the size down to 25% and pre-delay down to 0. Put the low cut on 15% and high cut on 33%. Drop the damp down to 22%. Pick up the width all the way up, and drop the mix down to 15%. Good, now search for some basses like these. And make a catchy drop like this. For intro, open up Nexus 2 and search for a good strings preset. Once you have found it, make a simple loop like this. Good, add some vocals, 808, snare fills and other effects to make it more soundful. Stole a pre-made drums build up from Simmatics and add some long sweeps and vocal chop. This is the final result. Fucker get money, 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 money. 
Get more 